This is a little video about the 417 hertz tuning fork. This is the 417. Let's listen to it. The 417 hertz fork, like the 174 hertz fork and the 528 hertz fork, are all part of what is called the nine piece solfeggio set. And I got this set uh, back in 2005 and discovered that I liked all of the forks except for the second one, which was 285 hertz. And that was one that I just, that always seemed stiff and difficult to me. So I never used that one, but I did use all of the other ones. So a number of years ago, I think it was 2000, well, 2012 was when I was breaking forks. Some of you may know that story from my book about how I was trying to write my first book, be a mom and a wife, see clients, and teach classes all at the same time. And some part of me knew that that was impossible, some subconscious part of me. And I went through this phase of literally destroying the forks that I was using, that I would use them for just a short amount of time, and then they would develop a buzz and become useless. And it got to the point where it started <laughs> where one would last two weeks and then a week and then just a few days. And then I was going through this stage where every time I picked up a fork, I killed it, like just picking it up and trying to use it. It was so, so strange, really. But what it, <laughs> it was funny because none of my students would let me borrow theirs. So uh, what I ended up a number of times just not having forks because I had laid waste to them and I was waiting for a replacement. And so in the process of this incredible destructive period in my life, um, I discovered that I didn't need all of them. And I actually discovered that less is more. And I ended up working with Metavibe to create a superior alloy that would hold up to the distortion that is present when we do biofield tuning. So it turns out that this special alloy is more expensive. And I realized that asking students to get a whole set of forks that were made with this alloy was actually a lot to ask, and it wasn't really necessary to have all of them. So in the beginning, I just picked two forks, the 174 and the 528, because I felt like those were the most useful ones. And uh, for a long time, that's all I required that my students used, and that's all I made available. But for those of you who are familiar with these forks, you might know that sometimes the 528 can get really sharp and really screechy. And if it's encountering a lot of tension, it can actually sound like nails on a chalkboard. It's not a pleasant sound. Now, it can also sound like a choir of angels, like when it's balanced and it's true, it's a beautiful tone. But I was looking for something else that wasn't, that didn't get as screechy, but still could go into that, that high place. And so I decided to reincorporate the 417 back into the lineup as a potential frequency to use in biofield tuning. So when do you use it and, and how do you use it? Um, in biofield tuning, the very basic practice is what we call combing and then columning. And we comb through the field with a fork, usually the 174, but we can really use any of the forks that we use, the weighted ones as well. And we do an adjustment where we bring energy that was frozen and stuck uh, into the midline of the body and into circulation. And then we focus it by this process that I call columning. So generally what I prescribe to people is that you go through once with the 174 and then you come back with the 528 or the 417, right? So we think about the 174 as like uh, maybe medium grit sandpaper, in which case the 528 and the 417 become more fine grit sandpaper. And you can use it any place where you come in with the 528 and it sounds a little screechy. Um, but I've also found that this particular frequency can just be very soothing and very grounding can be very grounding and really connect our, our breath and our awareness coming into this present moment and then really connecting us to the earth. So I'm just gonna strike it again and really let it ring out and see what you notice in your body. It's 
sort of a pleasing, balanced, mid-tone range um, that, that's just, it's useful. Again, you know, I pick my frequencies, I pick my forks because I find them useful and helpful. So if you already have a 174 and you have a 528 and you're looking to expand your repertoire a little bit, um, this is a kind of easy go-to. And um, and you can also use it, you know, if you're combing with the 174 and suddenly a little voice drops in and it says, hey, switch to the 417 for a bit, right? So you can, you can sort of swap it out. Um, you can also use this one to clear space. So you've seen my other video where we use the 528 to clear space. Uh, this one also works for that purpose or for, you know, using it like sage around yourself. It's just another useful option to have. Uh, you know, if you want to get another fork, this is the one that I would add in.